It's gonna be a good day. Uh, but right now, I am currently on this little orange kayak. Not here. Uh, this is not my main kayak, but as you can see, it's pretty small. So we're gonna go across the lake and get my green one, uh, which is much roomier. So let's go switch that first, and then we'll get to fishing. Good way to start off the day though. Chunky fish right there. So uh, to catch that one, I really didn't even have to go 20 foot from the ramp. <laughs> so we got two under our belt right now, uh, both on a little Magna finesse worm right there. Uh, I got that rigged up on a three fourths ounce shaky head. Uh, it's a good little rig. It's 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 a bulky profile, but it's a short worm. Since there are a lot of fish in here that are just just really fat, um, that's how Eagle Mountain is. We got a bunch of bait, and uh, a lot of these fish are really fat. They have small mouths, as you can see that one. Uh, so they can fit that worm in their mouth easy, but it still represents a huge profile. So uh, let's see if we can shoot for a five or six pounder today. That would be pretty nice. this worm today and I don't have too many of them so it's kind of a problem but right there uh, that fish kind of came on some like bigger bulky rocks maybe like basketball sized rocks right here so basically what I was doing is I was hopping that worm real quick and instead of it falling I felt a thump, you know it felt like a fish picking it up I kind of lifted up just to feel the weight and I saw my line running off and then I set the hook That was crazy. Holy crap. <laughs> I left my, I just put my worm in the water for just a second to move positions and my rod nearly goes in the water. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh man, buddy. It's a dark fish, but that just shows you how much they want that worm today. Like it's on. See you, buddy. Thank you for that. <laughs> In today's video, you saw me using a bottom bait. Uh, I was using a little shaky head with a magnum finesse worm. <clears throat> Basically, you saw me using a little, a little shaky head, uh, which is a bottom bait. And I would say I get asked this question a lot, but I don't. Uh, I'd be lying. Uh, then the question is, why do I get hung up so much when I'm fishing on the bottom? Uh, I think part of the reason I don't get this question a lot is mainly because it's embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing to get hung up a lot like that. And that's okay, that's understandable. So I'm making this video so you don't have to ask that question 
and be embarrassed. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now why you're getting hung up on the bottom. And first, we're going to start with feeling. Just feeling it. What a lot of people don't understand is that you can't just flip your worm out there and just start dragging along hoping for a fish to start yanking on it. Um, sometimes the bites are subtle, sometimes the bites are hard, but for those subtle bites you've got to feel it. You know, Sometimes you lift up and you just feel the weight of a fish. It feels slightly off. So what you got to do is when you're working that bait, make sure and feel. you got to constantly think about what your bait is hitting. And you're, you know, you'll be bumping against rocks and bumping, the, bumping against grass and you'll go over a limb, you gotta feel the limb, and then you feel when a fish bites on it. So instead of just, just dragging along, waiting for a fish to be yanking on it, just really try and concentrate on what is my bait running into? What am I running into? And that comes to the next point. When you're fishing around rocks, or anything you can get hung up for, for that matter, uh, when you do get hung, when you first throw out there, when you flip out and you get hung and you start pulling on it and it won't come off. The problem there is, is if you start yanking, right, that's going to dig the bait into the rock. And most of the time, the bait is not even hooked on the rock. Because as you can see, this bait's weedless. You know, it's not going to hook up easy. What's happening is your bait is sliding along and it gets lodged in a rock right here. So instead of trying to pull harder and get it lodged farther in there, what you should do is just pop it up over the rock that's all you got to do and then if it's stuck from there you might have a little different problem um, if you're fishing around big big size rocks like anything like basketball size you want to work the bait a little faster so your bait isn't like sliding in between the crevices because when it slides in there that's when it gets wedged up between two rocks and it's not coming off and you're gonna fray your line and snap it off so when you're fishing around rocks you got to fish a little faster uh, that's just how that's just how it comes unless you want to lose a lot of baits when you do get a bite, when you do get a bite on a soft bait, you feel it. You feel that fish grab hold of it and you feel that thump. That's when you don't need to just instantly swing on them. Um, this doesn't matter if you're fishing a jig, a Texas rig, a shaky head. Uh, I don't really care what you're fishing. What you should do is you feel that bite, right? And instead of just swinging, because sometimes, you know, we mess up. It might not be a bite. Sometimes. That time it was, but sometimes it's not a bite. Sometimes you might, the weight might fall and hit a rock and make that thunking. That's what happens with a Texas rig a lot. Sometimes it feels just like a bite, but it might not be a bite. So what you want to do is instead of just, you know, setting the hook instantly, what you want to do is you want to reel down and make sure you can feel the weight. And this got it's got to happen kind of fast because sometimes if you're too slow, that fish is going to drop your lure and run off because he knows you're pulling on it. But what you do is all you got to do is just make sure you feel weight. If there's weight on the end of the line, go ahead and whack them. Uh, right there, that fish just picked it up. I felt it. I looked over. I kind of felt my line for weight, and I swung in. That's all you got to do. And that's a few tips to help you from getting hung up in the weeds and looking like a moron. Because I know we all have been in the water or diving in the weeds or pulling on our line real hard, and people are looking at us like, what is this guy doing? Uh, it's really not a fun situation to be in, so hopefully those tips can help you, and uh, happy fishing!